had a little bit of problem folding our Christmas tree, so this is going to help. Okay? So you're going to take a piece of paper. This is a long one. Let me move this. All right? And fold it. All right? If you have a, originally, I said to get a square one. So you're going to fold it. And so you can see that it doesn't matter how you fold it in half. It always looks the same on a square. All right, this is going to be key. Open it up and fold it the opposite way. So first thing we're going to do is fold this back and forth. When you fold paper and you run your finger, you all know how to run your finger or your crayon along the edge, you're breaking the tiny little fibers in the paper. They're made of tiny little fibers of cotton and wood. All right? And when we do that, then guess what? Like a door, it'll swing both ways. And I think that is going to be key to doing this. So let's try that again. Ooh, now look at this. This thing is like, ooh, it'll go both ways. All right? And once again, just go back and forth and really make sure that, that those little tiny paper fibers are broken. You have to boss paper around a little bit. All right, now, this is the fold, this is the open. This is the fold, this is the open. All right, so you can do this with pencil, but you can do it with marker. You're going to make a line, let me see, all right, down here. And as long as you make your line is how fat your tree is going to be. It makes sure it's on the folded side. So make sure you show it to somebody before you cut it. All right. Up here, we're going to make a dot. Can you see that? Whoop. Here's a dot. All right. Now, we're going to cut this. All right, I'm just showing you two different papers so you can see it twice. And now you're going to put your finger here and fold this back. And I think a lot of you got that. All right, so that is going to be folded like this. And it makes a triangle here and a triangle hole. So let's see that again. You put your finger here, just like, you know, you put your finger down. So when somebody's making a bow on a package. Now this is real important too going to have to really crease that, whatever you do to crease it. And that has to be, see how you can now fold it the other way? And it, it's like you broke the little fibers and they will do what you want. All right, now it'll go back and forth and back and forth. All right, the same thing with this. I think this is really going to help you guys. Really going to help you. The fact that the first thing went back and forth. All right. They, some people like to do that with their fingernail. All right, that's cool. All right. Check it out. All right. Now, if we put our finger down there, this should close. And this, sometimes you got to poke at it, should. Go that way. All right. Let's try it this way. Put your finger here. Put your finger here, and while you're pulling it just a little bit, you're closing it. All right. That should be good. All right. There's your Christmas tree, but of course, it's kind of funky on that side. So that is why we are going to take a piece of paper. Okay. Take a new piece, don't worry. Okay, all you're going to do is fold it. You're going to open it. All right, and you're going to glue it in. Whoop. Make sure this is popping up. It should have that nice hole in it. it. Should have that nice hole. You can see that. 
we're going to put your glue here and close it. And then we're going to put our glue here. Not in the triangle tree hole, guys. You can put glue stick. Just like we did our monster, just close it. And put your Rub it. Okay. Here's some on this side. And now my glue is getting kind of nasty. Okay. There you go. So, if you need someone to help you, have them help you. All right? And we'll decorate it next time I see you. Bye.